Okay, here I just want to really quickly touch on the main difference between formulas in Excel and Power BI because there, there is some big differences, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a very small subset of this. I'm going to just create a new page here and I'm going to just copy his values, okay? And then this should be a date, so we'll format that as a date. Okay. Within Excel, say you wanted to calculate things, right? You need to think in regards of specific cells, okay? So say we wanted to go and grab the price, right, um, from here. What we would need to do is because the price doesn't exist here already, it's in the products table, we would need to go VLOOKUP and then we would look up, see this product, right? We would look it up. Then we would go and find the table array. So we would say come in here and we might go, let's select, actually no, it needs to be from here, doesn't it? Product ID and so in the seventh column. So we'll select that and then we'll go seven and then zero. Okay, so this might be a common formula that you might have used before and it looks like they're all the same product, doesn't matter. Okay, so, but the thing that you need to note here is that we're really focused on cells. We're referencing cells, okay? And then if I wanted to go sales like this, I would need to go this quantity times this price. So you see here, again, I'm referencing cells. And Excel is always about cells um, and referencing specific cells. And then these cells change based on, you know, whatever row you're in. So it's different, different cells here now. And this is represented by, you know, you can double click on the formula and it tells you that. There is nothing like this in Power BI, okay? Nothing at all. Everything is columns or tables. Everything that you reference is either a column or a table. And you need to start thinking that way inside of um, inside of Power BI. No matter if you are in a um, calculating, a, a, doing a calculated column, if you're calculating something as a calculated column um, in here, or you wouldn't ordinarily in here, but you'll see here, um, if we come, let's go to our dates table where we did create a calculated column, right? Just click on the end here, short month. So you see here, I'm always referencing columns. And this is exactly the same with DAX measures, okay? So when we come back in here, let's have a look at our total sales. So you see here that we're referencing a table and we're referencing a column and we're referencing a column. And the... Um, calculation is created by the filtering that we have in our model versus what is in a specific cell. So you see here that we are filtered in this particular table by the date and the date is coming from our model up here. It's one of our lookup tables and via this relationship it's placing um, that filter on our measure. Okay, and that, over that calculation. And so what happens is that based on that filter that we have, another, another word for it is context, it is then going and evaluating through all of the results in the columns that um, we have in our function, rather than any specific cells. Okay, so that's, that's basically it. There's nothing more to say about it, but that's just, it's sort of like a mindset shift. Okay, and it's also going to, um, make you think twice about creating calculated columns, which is another thing I just don't want you to do, especially when you're running, you know, calculations in a in a fact table or a, tr a table that is large with your like a transactional table or you know a table that iterates through all of your key key numeric numbers. Okay, let's um, let's round off this section and we'll move on to the next one.